All right, we have Fun Buggy episode three, and uh, it's getting it's getting real now, guys. Uh, motor is fixed. We have a motor mount, and uh, I don't have it bolted down yet. We're still uh, we're still in the in the planning stage. So uh, yeah, motor's there, and that's a shifter lever. So we have forward and reverse. And it's hooked to a servo, and I made a uh, a buffer linkage so that the servo never uh, never gets stalled out. Because just because the shifter lever is moving doesn't mean that it's going to get the follow through. Because there's cogs in there, and sometimes it uh, it hits it hits the gate there before uh, before it actually pops in place. We need a little bit of movement on the input shaft for that to take place. So I had to make sure that the servo was never going to bind up. So we had to have this, uh, this spring here, and uh, it works really, really good. So we have, right there is neutral, and that's what that is. So we have down is for reverse, up is for forward. So we're going to go forward, and we're going to move the input shaft, and you'll see it snap into place. Good. Now we're forward. Now we'll go back to neutral. Neutral. Input shaft, freewheeling. Then we'll go reverse. And again, a little bit of input shaft, and it snaps in place. So as you see, the servo is never under uh, under a bind. I can't stall it, which uh, that's cool because this will this will last. All right, and uh, what we have here is we have the receiver, and since this servo is for 12 volts and the receiver is only rated to nine, uh, I'm only running the receiver on six volts, seven volts, and then I have made up a harness so that the power for the servo is actually coming from a different source. In this case, I'm using a little 3S LiPo. Now, when I'm done with all this, this will be wired into the charging system and the battery on the uh, on the motor. So I'll be getting 14 volts, which uh, this servo is, is rated for. So don't have to worry about running a LiPo on here. We're gonna use the onboard uh, charging system. So we have limitless uh, power and that'll provide a lot more torque for the servo and uh yeah it's gonna work don't have to worry about how that's gonna be powered it's not gonna put any strain on the receiver for all that current that's coming directly from a, a good power source so well there it is and uh we'll show you the uh show you the input shaft we uh i machined the shaft that was on here and I need to get a longer bolt but uh, what we have this was off the old torque converter and I had to take a sprocket and these things are hard but I had to take the sprocket and I had to uh, I had to machine it I had to bore it out then I had to machine down the uh, the torque converter shaft and I cut a slot in there for a keyway. So it's got a keyway. And then to hold all of that, I made a little collar. This collar slips over there. Then the bolt runs down through the middle. And as you draw that bolt down, that collar squeezes on the sprocket, holds it to the uh, shaft and the keyway keeps it from, uh, from spinning. So what we're doing here, well, this thing, we're not going to be doing any jumps or crazy stuff. It's just driving around, being silly, pulling a little trailer, and uh, making some smoke and some noise. So, I'm not worried about that. That's going to, I think that's going to hold up just fine. And, uh, seeing this is a two to one gearbox, I have to make up the difference on the lock, last, oh, loss of speed from this to back to here. So, we have. 15, uh, 16, 16 two sprocket, 15 two sprocket here, and I've got a uh, 
I've got a 32 tooth sprocket coming for here and uh, just to show you this this is a 45 so this is definitely not going to work but just for uh, just for mock-up purposes we'll uh, we'll throw this on here and you can see how all that lines up so we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have some some final drive here shortly. But, uh, motor's working out nice; it fits good. I'll have to make an exhaust yet. Uh, this was a governor bracket that was on the stock, you know, on the motor from, uh, when the, when these come new. Uh, it's got the little lever, and then it all runs to the governor spring, etc. This doesn't have a governor. This is completely uh, gonna be throttle controlled by the servo. And uh, I'll make a little bracket there to hold a servo, and that'll be direct linkage to the carburetor. So uh, that'll be that. And, uh, I think that's about it for now. So uh, this is getting more and more interesting, and uh, it's all starting to come together in my head and in person. So again, like and subscribe, and uh, yeehaw, fun buggy.